Hello everybody, this is Excalibur and I'm back. Uh, we've already discussed the issue with our food supply. Um, we have a couple of stacks of monster jerky, but I want a more sustainable thing. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to build ourselves um, a chicken cooker. And for that I need two cauldrons. So let's come back here. I think I grabbed everything out of there, yeah. Oh, we got a lot more. Um pulverized stuff to uh, to smelt. I'll get that taken care of soon. Two cauldrons. I'm just going to grab two blocks of iron. We're going to create those cauldrons now. And we're going to need uh, dispensers. We're going to need two of them. Luckily, I've been raiding um, jungle temples. And we have access to do -do 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 dispensers. We are going to need one dispenser, two dispensers, one to populate the parenting chickens, and one to um, hatch the baby chickens. Now we're also going to need a bucket of lava, and I think I have everything else on me. So let's go grab some lava, uh, and while we're here, let's make some hoppers. We're going to need a couple so we can make let's just get the chest here we can make two now I think that's all we'll need if I make it as compact as I want it to be and we have a chest for gathering babies <laughs> can't fly as Excalibur not yet I don't have that mod installed but I could install that mod we're just going to fly down and get four buckets of lava because, well, lava is a good thing to have. Um, our quarry is doing a very good job. It's only like, uh, oh, let's see how far along it is. I think it's like 17%, maybe 18% by now. It is 17.68% complete. We, we're not generating nearly enough um, energy to get it running super fast. But you can see where it is. It's going down and turning all these stones into dirt. Very, very good. Very, very helpful. Very, very happy. And pretty soon we're going to be getting some of this stuff. Two, three, four. There we go. We've got four buckets of lava. We only need one for the cooker. Now, one problem is chickens are really loud. So I'm going to build this over on the other side of the hill here not here because we spend most of our time over here but we can put it here over by this tree um, <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is grab my axe of the stream and come down here get rid of this this tree it shouldn't take long to grab it and if the axe of the stream did its job right, that should just disappear much faster. Not as fast as random objects. I love the feather falling that being a bat gives you. Okay, we have to keep our eyes open for saplings and apples because I don't want to waste any of them. Alright, no, no, nothing, nothing, nothing. It looks like uh, we're good to go. And they may have fallen down here. Okay, well, we're not going to waste that much time doing that. Here we go. I had some more jerky. My son is having a grand old time in the tub. Is uh, <laughs> He's got a squeaky duck that he's been having lots of fun with. So let's go ahead and clear up some of this land. Um, if I recall correctly, we don't need that much. This is just a vanilla chicken cooker. We could go completely mod based on it, but I'm not going to go too super um, excitable about it. Am, am I full up? I guess I am. Okay. Well, we don't need dirt anyway. We're going to have uh, a bunch of it. A bunch of it. 
And we actually have a bunch of this too. And we can use the dirt to fill stuff in. So here we go. Let's clear this up. I'd rather have the dirt here. Okay. Grab torches. Put a torch right there. Let's just check our danger area here. There we go. All right. So what we need to do is we need a way to have chickens cooked and end up in a chest at the end. How are we going to do that? Well, first off, we need to have a place for chickens to grow up and get cooked. So we'll put that right here. Um, now how does that turn into cooked chicken? Well, well, we'll see. Now we also need a way to get eggs fired in here. So what we're going to do is this, and we're going to put a dispenser right here. Now what we're gonna now what that means is uh, chickens are gonna get fired into here. Oh, we need to fire into the cauldron itself. Not into that. So place this and get the cauldron back up there. There we go. All right. So what's gonna happen is we'll have eggs in here. They'll fire out into this. We need to have a small circuit that detects when there's items in here and then comes around and um, fires it. So we need comparators, which we have none of. So let's get up here and make a comparator. It's faster to just zip through here. We can dump off some unnecessary things like uh, all but one bucket of lava. Um, let's see here. Do, 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 do. We'll put this wood in here. That should be fine. Now let's make ourselves some comparators. And I believe it's. We need smooth sound. What? Yeah, we need three smooth stone, which I left downstairs. Okay, well, it's good that we have this. Boop. And just take a stack. Boop. Here we go. So we need three smooth stone. We're going to make four comparators. There we go. And then uh, we'll put this here. And this like that. There's our four comparators. Alright, I think we've got everything now, yeah. We come back over here. On the other side. <clears throat> now, one of the problems with this is that we're going to have some glitching chickens. That's why I'm building it up against the wall. Alright, so when we get an egg in here we want it to immediately fire all right we want it to immediately fire so that's got to come into that's got to be inverted darn it so instead of doing it like that, we're just going to break this. We're going to take one of our repeaters, place it here. Now this is going to create a clock. And that's generally what we want. We want this to come around here with our redstone. Yep, I'm doing it all vanilla. Alright, so say we put iron in there there's a clock we want that firing 
and setting this guy to go off. So we do it like, oop, like that. Now let's see if that works. Okay, so it did fire it off. So we're golden there. And we need a hopper under here going into a chest because we need the hopper to catch our food and we probably need more than one hop two hoppers but uh... we'll do this and actually we'll, we'll do it a little bit better we'll just go down one more like so and we'll put our chest here with the hopper directly going into it like so and then we can access it from the front like this. Alright, that's how it's going to go for now. Um, let's grab our dirt and cover this up here and here, here and here. We don't want the chickens to go completely bonkers. We're going to need the other hopper pointing into here so that if we say plop that in there we'll hear it go off it'll deploy and it'll pop in down there okay so what we need to do now is throw another right there and we're going to need uh, dirt here here, 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 and here, 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 and here. Uh, the lava's going to kill that. I'm going to go up and sleep through the night while I figure something out. Ooh, oh, I don't want to fall from that high. There we go. And I will be right back. Okay. I'm back and uh, what I did was I, I quickly made another hopper and I popped it out the side here. I also uh, used a second repeater um, and then ran redstone around like this into that repeater. What will happen is that will give us whoop, what we need to cover this and we could use glass, we could use glass definitely. Um, and actually, yeah, we, we want it just like this. And we do not want the chickens to be able to get out at all. So we're going to go ahead and grab this here. And we don't want to accidentally fall into the lava. So I believe we have what we need. Let's see if we can get some chickens here. No. Yeah, there's one. No. Okay, so we have one. One's not bad. It's not stellar, but it's not bad. Um, we're going to need to go and put our lava in right above here. So let's go ahead and put that in there now. You can already hear the chicken going uh, ballistic there. So we'll do that and put that there. Now, what's going to happen is he'll grow up, he'll start laying eggs. And then when the eggs get hatched... Um, all when the eggs get laid, they'll go down into this dispenser through a hopper underneath that cauldron. Um, once that happens, uh, the egg will immediately be dispensed into this cauldron that's in here, and uh, hopefully a chicken will be born. If so, awesome. If not, then we'll have to work on something else. Um, I'm going to be using some safari nets to capture some chickens that, I, that we've seen laying around and not laying around but uh, roaming around and uh, I will make sure that these chickens are put in their place uh, no. <laughs> I'll make sure that uh, we get these chickens all set up um, now we could use something like uh, Project Red for some of the stuff, but this is a simple, very basic 
um, clock that we can set up that will automatically empty out a dispenser and it'll shoot it all out. Um, I'm, I'm used to using a block here and then uh, a redstone torch so when something goes in there it flickers the torch and causes this to to shoot things out. Um, this way I am ensured that we have ourselves a clock because that's how um, this setup always works. This just delays it slightly so the signal will come here. It'll shoot out here um, just a very slight one tick later. It'll come around here and then it'll pop into there which causes another tick signal to go out. Meanwhile it goes over here and then makes it pop. So this is a pretty rapid fire thing and this guy right here is going to produce a lot of chickens to start. Uh, we'll, we'll get more. We'll get more as uh, time goes on. And uh, the goal is to make this a cacophony of chicken sounds coming out of this. And then eventually a cacophony of chicken sounds that turn into uh, dinner for us. Because, well, we are desperately in need of getting food built up. And I really do not want to be making uh, monster jerky for the rest of the series. Um, that's good to start, yeah, but not so good um, as a continuous source of food. So let's see here, where was I going to put this? Um, right here? Yeah, that's good. Oh, right there, that's where I was going to put it. Uh, luckily we have a lot of dirt here, and we can get rid of some of it without fear of causing monsters to spawn anywhere. So if we actually just grab this stuff right here we can get rid of this little ledge get back a torch and have dirt to build with and I'm d building it with dirt instead of advanced materials because um, building with dirt will actually um, save us on a little bit of materials here it doesn't have to be super extravagant it just needs to work we can pretty it up later at any time and that's what the plan is, so let's go ahead and get that put in there. That's fine, and we're going to go ahead and put our grass blocks over this. We don't need um, me messing up the redstone by running around. Um, maybe what we can do is turn this into a... Uh, uh, a chain that sends our cooked chicken way back here but what's gonna happen is when that baby is created in this cauldron in here as you can see the baby is at the lip of the cauldron when it grows up its head will pop up and will get cooked by the lava since uh, the chicken will die because it was uh, uh, it was on fire and it dies so one, oh, wrong thing. Oh, I wonder if we got two of uh, the five, <laughs> and there's the the fifth one. Okay. So it's just going to take a matter of time. We have enough food until then, and we can go capture adult chickens that will produce uh, um, eggs for us. Let's go down here and just make sure that this is lit up a little bit better. Just right around here. Because we don't need any unexpected visitors. Unwanted guests, as you might call them. Um, we don't need any anything spawning right on the inside there. Yeah, that's fine. And while I'm at it, why not? We have more than enough torches. And if we don't allow things to spawn that can get up in there we don't have to worry about them getting under the base um, <laughs> there was a spider that found its way up inside the base which means that there was somewhere around here that was um, spawn worthy and the spider got up inside I don't see any yellow except for down around here somewhere Oh, I don't even see it here. 
I don't know where it spawned. But it somehow got up inside and uh, crawled in. It couldn't get to me, so that was cool. Well, that was just a, a quick rundown of the chicken cooker. Uh, we'll see it in action more in the next episode. So this is Excalibur. This is a short episode. I know, I know. Um, woo. So uh, until next time, enjoy playing games. Enjoy playing Minecraft. I'm out.